Together, let us pray the first novena to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Opening Prayer Blessed Elizabeth, Vessel Elect of Exalted Virtues, Thou dost show forth to the world by thy example what the virtues of faith, hope, and charity are able to do in a Christian soul. Thou did employ all the powers of thy heart to love thy God alone. Thou did love him with a love so pure and fervent that it rendered thee worthy to taste upon earth beforehand those favours and those sweetnesses of paradise which are communicated to souls invited to the nuptials of the divine adorable Lamb of God. Thou, illuminated by supernatural light and faith immovable, did show thyself to be a true daughter of the Holy Gospel by seeing in the person of thy neighbour, the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, sole object of thy affections. Therefore did thou place all thy delight in holding converse with the poor, in serving them, in drying their tears, and comforting their spirits, in assisting them with every pious good office, in the midst of pestilence and the miseries to which our human nature is subject. Novena to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary Dear Saint Elizabeth, you were always poor in spirit, most generous toward the poor, faithful to your husband, and fully consecrated to your divine bridegroom. Grant your help to widows and keep them faithful to their heavenly Lord. Teach them how to cope with their loss and to make use of their time in the service of God. Amen. Kindly mention your request here. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, pray for us. Concluding prayer, Thou did make thyself poor in order to succor thy neighbour in his poverty, poor in the good things of earth, to enrich thyself with the goods of heaven. Thou wast so humble that after thou had exchanged a throne for a poor hovel and a royal mantle, for the modest habit of St. Francis, thou didst subject thyself, innocent though thou was, to a life of privation and of penance, and with holy joy did embrace the cross of thy Redeemer with goodwill, accepting with him insults and the most unjust persecution. Thus did thou forget the world and thyself to remember thy God alone. Dearest saint, who was so beloved by God, vouchsafe to be the heavenly friend of our souls, and help them to become ever more and more acceptable to Jesus. Cast down upon us from the height of heaven one of those tender looks which, 
when thou was upon earth healed the most distressing infirmities in this our age so depraved and corrupt and at the same time so cold and indifferent to the things of god we have recourse to thee with confidence in order that we may receive from our lord light for the understanding and strength for the will and thence obtain peace of soul wills we bless the lord for having glorified his name in this world with the splendor of thy heroic virtues and the eternal reward accorded to them do thou bless them o dear saint elizabeth from that blessed throne which thou dost occupy close to the saint of saints protect us in our dangerous pilgrimage obtain for us the pardon of our sins and open for us the way to enter and share with thee the kingdom of god amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen